The Kingdom of Morocco is a country of many colors, cultures, tastes, and sights. And as a world-class attraction, the opportunities in tourism are endless. It has been said that Morocco is like a tree whose roots lie in Africa, but whose leaves breathe in European air. Located in North Africa on the Mediterranean and Atlantic Oceans, Morocco is 15 miles from Europe and just six and a half hours by air from the United States. Souks, shopping, handicrafts, dining, and world heritage sites. From luxury to the affordable, your trip to Morocco can be completely customized to your expectations and your budget. And the good news is, no matter how many times you visit Morocco, new experiences await you. Perhaps the most well-known city in Morocco is Casablanca, with its rich history and location, and most often your first stepping stone into Morocco. From Casablanca, the capital city Rabat is a short distance, where you'll have an opportunity to tour national monuments, the royal palace, and visit the home of thousands of storks as they show off their lofty nests. On the way to Fez and Meknes, enjoy the ruins of the old Roman town of Alupolis. Or how about stopping by a local breeding farm, or take a moment and watch how olive oil is made in the traditional Moroccan factory. You'll find Moroccans welcoming and always delighted to share their traditions with you. As you make your way through the country, all the while enjoying authentic Moroccan meals and warm hospitality, you'll start to learn the difference between a kasbah, which refers to a palace or fortress, and a medina, which is the term to identify the original part of a city, and then there's the souk, the specialty market, and a riad, which is a guest house or small boutique hotel. Throughout your trip to Morocco, you'll have the opportunity to visit factories producing silk fabrics, carpet, and even argon oil, and with the help of your guide, you'll have fun bargaining with the merchants. Perhaps one of the most impressive and memorable is to stop by a local school. One of the best kept secrets in Morocco is the film industry. Visiting Warzar Z, you can tour the Atlas Studios and walk throughout the lots, all the while imagining how Morocco fits beautifully into many of the backdrops of films with its Middle Eastern and African images. And you can even stay on location in the hotel at the studio. While in Marrakesh, there's nothing like the shopping, the food, and even the entertainment in the Medinas and the souk. <laughs> And don't forget Essaouira, formerly known as Mogador, a beautiful western port town in Morocco that offers beautiful scenery with a wonderful colorful port. It's a great city to relax, enjoy the food at the port, and perhaps do some shopping and people watching in the Medina. Throughout its history with the Western world, Morocco has proven to be a friend and protector of human rights. Morocco was the first country in the world to officially recognize the United States' independence in 1777. The political alliance has continued unbroken since then, and more recently a bilateral free trade agreement was signed in 2004. The opportunities will continue to grow with this fine friend called Morocco. Come visit Morocco for a trip of a lifetime.
I think uh, the is the same as made, uh, outstanding efforts, and have tour guides like Jamal explain the culture of the, of the kingdom and why it is what it is and how it got there and the historical aspects. That is uh, pretty broad, and I think it uh, will play well with the, with the American audience if the message is capsulized properly, packaged, and presented in the right way. I think in five, eight years, that's going to be the great, uh, you know, have you been to Morocco? Of course I've been to Morocco. Everybody goes to Morocco, it's, it's an easy place to go to. But I think that's what's going to happen. We get hats off to Sam, we have to Julie and I, uh, a steady job. Thank and, you very much. Uh, it's been an incredible experience. Can't wait to come back. And uh, have a good one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Trip. I have never experienced so many things in one, in 10 days. I just cannot believe what all we've seen and what all we've done. And, uh, you know, it's just. It's hard to explain to anybody when you go back to the States and say, well, we did this, we did that. Oh, you can't do that. I said, yeah, we did. I cannot wait to ADA. It's going to be in January. And I'm going to tell operators like you wouldn't believe about Morocco. Now, I'm supposed to be selling my theater in Pigeon Forge to them soon. But I am going to be selling Morocco. I, this is just unreal. I mean, I, well, I was thinking about all the day. We're riding down the road. There's some camels. We get out in the middle of the desert and go pet a camel. I mean, you know, excuse me, why did we do that? So, I mean, is the memories is unbelievable. And the people, I think this group that we travel with, you know, sometimes I've, I've been on trips and people are, it, this has been just wonderful. I mean, all of y'all are just great. I mean, I've enjoyed y'all so much. And Sam, you have just outdone yourself, boy. <laughs> you have done a good, you've done good. Well, thanks for all this. And it's the first time I've ever had an opportunity to do anything like this, and thank you so very much. You're awesome. And I promise I'll help um, publicize your country and get more people to come. Thank you. I, everybody I told before I came that I'm going to Morocco, they're going, you're going where? I'm going to Morocco. Why would you want to go to Morocco? Because I can. <laughs> and, uh, so now they all going to want to know, well, now North Morocco, and I'm going to tell them it was wonderful. Thank you. And I've taken over 300 pictures to prove it. So I think over 600 to prove it, actually. <laughs> so I can show them things, and, uh, you know, I'll tell them all the things we got to buy. Pam has, has just <laughs> had the best time Green. shopping. I know. But we all have. All of us females have enjoyed shopping. But we really appreciate all the work you did, Sam. Because without you doing it, we wouldn't be here. And we appreciate all the hosts, the yep. people who have made it possible for us to come to places like Church and the Club and everything else. Thank you all. And thank you, Sam. Sure. And thank all of you because you have made the trip fun because it's fun to travel with you. Everybody's been so nice. Thank you.